I will make a very small and uh, very simple introduction to Proteus. Some of you might know it, some of you might use it, um, but some of you don't, <laughs> and they cannot use it, and they spend an awful lot of time trying to do stuff with it. So here's a small introduction, so don't hesitate to ask a question if something is not working. It's not clear. So what is Proteus? Uh, according to PP, so the Python package index, Proteus is a Python library to access a Triton server as a client. That's the main punchline of Proteus. So it's a, it's a Python <coughs> library. Uh, and Proteus is just like any other good Python library, which means that it, it's pip installable. So pip install Proteus and you're gone. You can use it in a script, but in also in, in a Python shell, IPython, BPython, those kind of fancy shell with colors and auto completion and whatnot. But um, it's also a simple piece of code that demonstrates some advanced features of Python, like the descriptors, which are mm, classes that allows to make um, call to method when you access them as uh, properties. Meta classes, which are classes that define classes. And uh, also there's a, a bit of context management in it. And since it's a very small piece of code, you can study it and easily understand, easily understand the, uh, those kind of complicated features. So Proteus can access a local server. Uh, those two lines of code, in fact, import Proteus, then uh, define a connection to Proteus. With this simple command, you access a local, what? No. A local copy of um, Proteus with the configuration defined in foo.cfg, which means that if you have to configure Postgres SQL, some the connection to Postgres, the port or whatever, you put that every everything there, and you will access Proteus as the user admin with the password admin. But Proteus can also connect to a distant uh, Triton server, and he does that using uh, XML RPC, of course, and in that case you use only. Uh, this uh, the URL of the XML RPC server to one stuff that it's not easy maybe is the way to specify the credentials. It's obviously admin, the username, then afterwards uh, the password, etc. It, it used to be like that in HTTP if you remember. And it still works in fact in HTTP. And don't forget the database at the end is the first uh, part of the uh, local part of the URL. And uh, Proteus is able to, is built to mimic the Triton client. Default values are set when you create a new object. On change and on change with are calls when you <coughs> set a value to an object, to a property of an object. And the context on the fields is used and eventually Pythonly evaluated in order to use the information inside it. We did that a few months ago, if you remember. <laughs> and what are the use cases of Proteus. I'm pretty proud of those slides because I have put pictures in them. <laughs> so, 
So, proteus can be used for automated testing. We have 29 doc test files in the Triton D repositories. And uh, since Proteus mimics the client, it uh, allows to make functional testing through the use of scenarios, which means that we create small sample of uh, doc test. It's a standard in Python, which describe uh, this user creates an invoice, this user click on this button. We have this number of invoice lines, which creates those stop moves with those values and everything is tested and that's what is done uh, in those doc test files we are testing access rights that's quite new so some i guess are not tested but it, be it begins to be more and more tested workflows and wizards uh, proteus is used for automating tasks. For example, the data on dmod.triton.org are created with a Proteus script. We have a lot of uh, sample data that are uh, randomizedly uh, added to the, to the database, randomizedly uh, invoiced and stuff like that. Proteus is also used to import data from a legacy database so from, um, I don't know, open ERP if you want, but uh, you could use uh, uh, Common Lundi, no? Lundi Matin. Lundi Matin. Uh, and there's also uh, plenty of other stuff where you can import. You can import C CSV files, you can import whatever you want. You can generate timesheet reports by connecting to your timesheet lines, getting uh, all of them putting them in, a, in an email and sending it to your customers each Sunday, I think, and etc. cetera. Uh, you can also, uh, this is for developer, use Proteus to repeat the same action on the client because sometimes <coughs> you have to go through three or five steps in a wizard or I don't know, creating some party, then put some value on it and repeat this stuff every time and every time and it's boring and it takes time. It's way easier to make a Python script that you will trash after it and run it. Uh, that's a good way to, to work. Or put it in the test after us, indeed. <laughs> Sometimes it makes the views ugly because you don't look at the views, but <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. So Proteus can help you enter the same data, as I said, execute the same result, <coughs> click on the same buttons every time, just from your shell prompt or your favorite interpreter. <laughs> Notice the nice color. <laughs> it's really, it's really good. <laughs> he makes developer happy, eh? and an happy developer is a productive developer. Well, sort of. Um, we see the dance as well. <laughs> LaTeX doesn't do uh, animation, <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> Nifty features. So every Triton type is supported by Proteus. All of them, even the dictionary field. Yeah, I found also a nice feature. <laughs> and Proteus can call buttons. It's just a, a matter of calling a class method. So in fact, what we're creating here, here is creating a new cell, setting a party on this cell. It will populate every, every, every mm, field filled by the unchanged. I don't know, uh, the uh, payment terms, stuff like that. You put a sale date, you create a new line, you put a product on the new line, which will populate the, the price, the taxes, whatever. It will use, obviously, the information from the party to get the, the right taxes for, the, for this party. 
you put a quantity, which in this case is, is a mint between 1 and 50. You save the, the sale. And voila, if you want to make a quote of this sale, you just call sale.quote, the list of sale IDs. And a little trick, it's the uh, context that must be passed every time you make a call. That could be changed. Um, sorry, uh, it's not necessary to, to do the attempt in the sales line. If you call sales line is new, uh, yes, it's, it's a new, yes, it's new, uh, new API on the uh, one to many. We added them 2.8, I think, 2.8. And there's also find, which will use the, the domain. No? <laughs> what? The, you, you could put, a, you could use a, on a one to many or a many to many, you could use find to, to, to find according to the domain because you have the add remove domain and stuff like that. And, it, and they use it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like the find button, yes. It was useful for people that live in France. <laughs> and uh, you can also execute results with Proteus. So uh, here is an example of uh, one of the results that pop up when you create uh, a new database in Triton. It's the result when you, where you enter the company. Uh, in this case, you create a wizard with the name of the wizard. The name of the wizard is defined in the code you have cr created before, obviously. You have to find the name. That's the tricky part. Then calling execute. Uh, yeah, it's created with wizard. Uh, dot form there returns you, in fact, <coughs> the model view that you will see, where you will enter stuff. And uh, the transition, the buttons on the wizard are called with execute, uh, but not only the button, uh, also other state in the wizard. But we all are already in the development. And um, so for example, there we have, we're creating a new company that is named Michael Scott Paper Company. And we save the company we put that company in the uh, in the company form which we uh, retrieved on line three then you put the currency i don't know if you please visualize this with a mm -hmm. yes you put the, the the us dollars in the in the field and you press on add this is done with the execute method. And voila. So Proteus has some drawbacks. You cannot use Proteus every time. We love drawbacks. And Proteus is not done, it's not meant to import a bazillion of records. Uh, every time you make an assignment to something that will make an unchange. You will make a call to the server, which will create a transaction and stuff like that, and a read-only transaction in this case, but it's nevertheless a transaction. And you you spend time, it, it takes time. It's not the way to import a lot of records. Millions of, billions of records, not the way. But 100, 1,000, 10,000 maybe. It might be okay. Uh, as we saw, the API for the buttons is not really clear. It could be better, but personally, I, I don't really care, but Cedric finds it could be better. <laughs> <laughs> well. And uh, Proteus doesn't speak uh, JSON RPC. It only speaks XML. A small change. I, I think there was a code review once, but uh, I don't know why it wasn't why it was rejected. Uh, 
Ah, yes. So we put the issue. So the first. <laughs> but it was like this other thing. Yes. Which I know. Mm-hmm. Or finally. And so a small demo of uh, Proteus. I don't know. I'll make something else. Ah, you probably don't see anything. Ah. Mm. Mm. I hope it will work. Uh, I Python. Mm. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. I know, I know why. Haha. <laughs> it was a color, isn't it? It was what? The color. The color. Green, green, Probably. Green is bad. Green is not good. Wow, to say so. <laughs> ah, yes. I must have changed something. Where did I put that? Tout, 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 tout. From the Tondu Config. What did I put there? What? Ah, je sais. En effet, avoir fait tomber dans le pass est... Est-ce que tu peux mettre des points, euh, des points de base ou un point de Ouais, mais non, j'ai pas envie. So, there it's set up, set up in a lot of stuff, uh, set up in Triton and stuff like that. And there we are. If we want, we can get the uh, the module. This creates uh, an object that represents the IR dot module dot module object of Triton, and ah, putting it. Ah, clear. Mm. Ouais, mais on aura le problème après. Non, ah, mais je sais pas faire ça. Voilà. Ah. Uh, yes. There we have uh, a reference to the module of Triton. We can ma we can search. Wow. <coughs> wow. No, we can get the same module by doing a find. We get the same the module that is named sale. We can get some information with auto completion. I don't know. Create date. It's a date time, so we can uh, get this date. And it's not installed. Uh, we could probably. Same uh, module, save. Uh, no, no, it's not like that. We need to have. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes
for example, uh, 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 hey. Ah yes indeed. Oh. Uh. Oui oui c'est le module que je voulais chercher chez toi. So in this case the party module is installed, so we can get a party. The model. And uh, create a new party. Just like we saw in the previous. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. There we are. We have a new party. And the party is safe in the database. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> it was easy! So, that was the demo. <laughs> no, but there's, in reality, there's nothing to, to, to show. It's your code. You you have to do what what you have to do. <laughs> no, maybe for maybe uh, all all tests, all scenarios that are tested in this module are written in 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 Proteus. So except the connection that is automatically made uh, to find uh, code to operate with Proteus, you can look in the scenario. Yes, for example, the sales scenario imports a lot of stuff. It, yeah, it defines uh, stuff, it creates a database, uh, installs sale, creates a company with the currency, and so on. There we saw that we create a party. It should <coughs> probably be named uh, Microscope or something. It defines the, com the preferences. We create a user that is part of the group uh, sale. That way we can test the credential and the uh, ability of people to make stuff. Quite simple, as you see. We create a stock user that will validate the shipment, an account user to validate the invoice and uh, do what account people do. <coughs> then there's the creation of the fiscal year. It, in fact, it, it this part is always present and mimics what we do when we create the database. And then we create a supplier and a customer, a product category also, which is named category, a product. So we need, we define a new product that is named product, and it uses <coughs> the unit of measure unit, <coughs> and you get it this way. And uh, We define a lot of stuff from the template of the product, the list price, the cost price. It's all Python, standard Python. And then uh, when you save, uh, everything is saved. Create a payment term, an inventory, for example. It's always the same dance. You get the inventory from the model. You search the stuff 
that are necessary to do what you have to do. And then you fill your inventory, just like if you were using the client, but with a Python script. Yeah? Uh, on the, uh, could you uh, move up? Uh, where, when is the context um, used? Uh, can, can you move only a little bit more? Okay, here you are changing the user of in, co in config and uh, instantiate the inventory model. Yes. Okay. Uh, each call uh, mm, from here, each call to inventory will be used the, this config. Yes. If I change the config user uh, later, I have to to make the model dot get uh, again to 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 have the inventory. Yes. No. No. But the instances are. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Inventory not. But Inventory is storage. not, yes. but storage, storage will be. Okay. And if you make after change the context, if you make a reload, it reloads this this instance with the new context. But I think not the one to make them the the, the related. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You need to. It will use the new. I guess the, the reload is not recursive. No. No. Uh, in, in, in some way, you can see it like yes, okay. like a file. When you switch from one user to another user, you log all, so you, you remove all your instance and you create new. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's two shows. One of them. I don't those know. I, I those stuff are persistent. I have in a cell that I need to change the user and. I try, try and try an error <laughs> until it works. Yes. Is it possible to have two uh, database connections in parallel? Two contexts, contact one, contact two, each uh, connected to another data database to have uh, maybe some. Uh, you want to uh, take something from one Python to another and. I never tried, but. Uh, I think so. I, I think what they don't get, you can pass a config. Okay. With, but in most of the methods, you can pass a config. Okay. I think uh, you should probably you need to to put the instance work inside a wiz, no? Maybe. Inside a wiz. A wiz to, to separate the context or no? Indeed, there is the, the, the context. Global and it's just the default. Ah, yes, one. Indeed. And you can normally, for most of the methods, you can pass the config, another config to it. But uh, I'm not sure if anyone tried it. No, I never tried it. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I have another question. Yes? I'm having problems uh, with um, IR model field access. This is a kind of access. Uh, Control in Triton where you can say um, this user group uh, can see this field on invoice and another user group can only read this field, another can only write this field, or another can only can ah, and not see this field. This is not, not displayed. You can uh -huh. filter every field uh, you like. Use for parties, you uh, sometimes you don't want to have all the accounting stuff uh, shown to, to any user on parties, so you just filter everything out with the ER model field access. But when you use the Proteus for tests, then you have a problem. Um, I don't know, every time when you say, uh, uh, when you, when you uh, instantiate uh, the, the model, it, you it, it seems every field is evaluated in, in the model, and then uh, you uh, strictly get errors. Uh, that you have no access right uh, <coughs> to, to the field. Probably because Proteus has fetched the definition of the field, and since you said that uh, the user doesn't have the access to, to it, the Triton will not send the information, and so <laughs> Proteus will totally uh, will crash. Uh, this is 
Je ah, je suppose it's a trap. It's a trap. Okay, yep, it is. Okay. Uh, he put uh, <coughs> access right on field, yeah. and a user that doesn't have the access uh, you makes. The model With the so user which the cannot the user read. with uh, restricted access. With the user with yeah, but yes. then uh, you and he gets the distribution. You cannot do anything. Uh, you get the uh, maybe he get he maybe he does create the model before with an admin and. Uh, I don't know. That's the question. If it's it is or not. Do 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 you get the model definition with the restricted key user no, no. or no? Okay, okay. That's the way I try. Ah. So there we we are creating a, a sale. We sell lines. Uh, this time it was written before we made the change in the API, so it's still hey. the append and stuff like that. But it's quite uh, common, and we call code confirm process. <coughs> and there, the state must be processing and stuff like that. <coughs> so that was a little demo of uh, Proteus and how the stuff are set together. Mm -hmm. So uh, Proteus is kind of cool because it uses cool Python features. <laughs> That's mainly the main reason. Uh, you can write tests and scripts with it. Uh, the beginning of the test is always bothersome because you have to repeat every time the same stuff, but uh, we don't have a better solution yet. And there's auto-completion, as we saw uh, when you are using IPython, BPython to discover stuff and stuff like that. So uh, pip install for use. Okay. So testing and stuff like that maybe importing some some data uh, but uh, otherwise than that I don't think you will use Proteus for example yes suppose I want to make a point of sale yes. for a little shop I have a customer that has a little shop and really needs a point of sale mm -hmm. I can for example make that point of sale inside the Triton client in a, in a module uh, or maybe I can go out Triton, maybe for example build an interface in Qt or maybe a web interface and use Proteus to communicate with Triton or to interact with Triton. In this case I, I think you could use Proteus indeed because you are just like a client and uh, you, won't, you don't have to be too, too speedy. 
So I think you could do it. But on the other side, uh, you will make a lot of code because you will have the yarn change and stuff like that. So it's a bit of a gray area. You could have of a, of a gray area. Mm -hmm. I so think that is. Personally, I ah, recommend you to make uh, in, inside a module. Mm -hmm. But there is this for for a skip. What are you testing and that kind of stuff? And maybe, maybe the, the what you are asking is make a module and work with Triton client, or make a web application with Naray. I think it's not. Proteus or, or, or Triton module than uh, Proteus, I uh, narrate because you have a web client web and maybe it's what you need or mm -hmm. fits better. Yeah, for a web client, maybe narrate yeah. fits better, <laughs> for sure. No, I was just curious about because, no, no, because maybe for, for some use cases, uh, uh, for example, in the case of a point of sale, uh, using the GTK uh, uh, In fact, I have built a point of sale with the equivalent of Proteus for OpenERP two years ago, but uh, three years ago already. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was called, I don't remember the name. Erstedt. Erstedt. A good library. Everybody is that a have to work with open your PUs should you? The best. It's probably the best. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> <What>? But <laughs> unmaintained. <laughs> but unmaintained. <laughs> and uh, we, we used the equivalent of Proteus and the performance was were pretty good. But I was on the same laptop than the database. So maybe uh, the production. But anyway, uh, we were using the NetRPC protocol and it was quite okay. Uh, this week, a person talked about, no, asked about integration about Triton and the Django uh, and your list. Yes. Uh, what you uh, about the integration about Proteus? Yes. In one well, of your opinion. Ah, my opinion. Your, <laughs> is, my is opinion is that the sooner or later there will be. No, because uh, Anna, Anna, Anna so, uh, drop Django and. Uh, <laughs> Switch to the lead. No, sorry. <laughs> 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 it's about integrate about Proteus, but uh, some years ago, I some years, some weeks ago, said that uh, Proteus is lower. Yes, of course. Proteus is lower, so I would not do that. You recommend it? No, not at all. No, no. No, not at all. There will be sooner or later a new framework, so and it's already there, partly. So we, we should use that and put uh, put people on work on this instead of using small bricks everywhere and uh, and having a half working solution. We should work together to make uh, they the better project and integrate it. Uh, also, I think the mistake is that your web application is. Uh, graphical user interface for which you will use another in some way non-graphical but user interface which is Proteus which will only uh, uh, communicate with the server so you have in the middle something that is normally uh, designed for the user but you, you try to automate it via your Django application and I think you will have a lot of problem with that because, because you will have behavior from Proteus that you don't expect, uh, the unchanged and, and stuff like that. You cannot uh, uh, <coughs> but, but control it. It's yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a bit more. So. Yeah, you, you put layer on layer on layer. And yeah, I understand. <laughs> so, any other question?